Hey there everyone, Trenty here, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. So in the last episode we met up with Corporal Reese, he died, we killed some blood shots, they died, we got a power core for Sanctuary, and we're about to go turn that in, so let's do that, shall we? What is good, my dude? You're the one Commander Roland was talking about. The one who faced Jack and lived. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power core into the shield generator. Alright, don't gotta tell me twice. Oh, stuff I can't use. Good. That ought to last us a day or two. <sighs> Roland was supposed to bring us some intel on how to stop Jack. With him missing, we really need your help. Talk to Private Jessup at the gate. He'll let you enter the city. Jessup! Stand up straight! <laughs> we got a vault hunter headed your way! <laughs> Blitz! Look alive, everybody! If you're playing Cobb, you can I send someone over here and get Corey this open a bit, a bit quicker. Right Quite a lot quicker, shield. actually. There we go. Come on. Come on. Alright. Welcome to Sanctuary. I mean, uh, darn. Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. Alright, welcome to Sanctuary. Let's go meet some story characters. I heard all of you were robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. Knew you wired death machines be come for me once Roland went missing. Now if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. You'll never take me alive, you robotic son bitch! We can test that. Wait a minute. Huh? Well hang me upside down from a telephone pole, oh. cover me in honey, and leave me to a slow death at the hands of hungry spider ants. <laughs> You ain't no Hyperion robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? That's like a unicorn. Whatever you say. Now you gonna help us out with this rolling situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Roland told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a floating ass fortress of airborne awesomeness. Ha <laughs> ha! B. I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, and you'll need this uh, iridium here, too. Oh, I didn't actually activate the community patch. I should go do that. Alright, I did it this time. Let's go ahead and grab these fuel cells. Now, sometimes you, you can get kind of lucky. And you get a decent amount of iridium out of all the little boxes and... Things around here. Actually, how much damage did that do? I actually did not pay attention to that at all. Oh boy, I gotta sell some stuff. Like, oh wait, that's actually better than that. So, I guess get off my favorite list. <laughs> Given, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna use the pistol for a while. Well, let's head to center of town and plug those two fuel cells into the ignition primers. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last sale from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. He had one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. Bike with a fork. Bandits of Sanctuary! I hear a new Vault Hunter has arrived in your city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded! Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. Roland said we gotta have an exit strategy just in case he ever disappeared and sell fuel sales and whatnot. Ah, uh, bummer though. He really wanted to meet you. Raiders ain't gonna last without some new blood, and given how you shot them bandits up, I'd say you and blood got an extra special relationship. Like cousins taking a bath together. <laughs> oh. What you want? All right. Just buy something, and I'll toss in this crap fuel cell. <laughs> Just touching it made two of my fingers rot off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. Now ain't that the truth? Now, Crazy Earl kind of acts as your upgrade shop, uh, at least to the degree of all of your storage decks, as they're called. So backpack space, bank space, you know, all of your ammo pools, 
So, I mean, for us, we're kind of lucky because we only really have to worry about, like, I mean, I guess technically we have to worry about grenades too because, you know, you use those, but we only have to worry about four kinds of weapons and one not so much as the others. But first things first is some backpack space. And then we'll get sniper, shotgun, and I mean, we could save the rest or we can get an extra grenade. But I don't really use grenades that much. So we are just going to hold on to that five. Yeah, I mean, I, I, everything I just explained over that period of time could have been explained by this one picture. So let's just go help with getting this last fuel cell installed. And then we have much more fun times to be had in this town this episode, let me tell you. Hi, thanks for grabbing all that stuff for me. Third degree burns are best taken in shifts. Now, to see the fruits of your loins, this city's gonna fly! <laughs> Now that we've got the actual, get it. Roland left a message for you. All right. Now you can't jump up here until you actually open up the door down here. Just one of those, you one of those things. Off this okay, actually, before we go in here, let's just go ahead and sell off everything I don't need. Goodbye, shields. Anything Jacobs here? No. And it's a shotgun, but it's probably garbage. Yeah. I'm always happy. No surprises there. Alright, we're gonna dig through all these chests, and by chest I mean lockers, SMGs, cash, more cash, ammo, and garbage. Amazing. All right. Hearing this, I'm in trouble. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Good luck. So cool. We now have a third weapon slot, so we can go ahead and actually pull this uh, magnum and put it there. Now, I mean, let me just. Get this into memory. Sniper, shotgun, pistol. Okay. And there's a recorder in here. Go ahead and just move that over. This is the Firehawk. Cut the frostbite. I discovered the safe and now it's going to cut off the story echo. And you know people will die. The Firehawk? You mean the mass murderer and bounty hunter? <laughs> oh, crap! <gasps> the Firehawk's got him rolling in deep! You gotta get the Frostbird <laughs> cannon and rescue his ass! <laughs> If Roland has been captured by the Firehawk, he's in danger. You're the only one who can stop Jack, but Roland is the man with the plan, so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. Alright, so now let's start up the process of grabbing a bunch of quests, starting with Claptrap. For the Minion, over here! Your master commands you! You helped me reach Sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward! I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you will have to perform a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds. And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment. <laughs> You know what? Shut up, Clappy. Let's just let's high five. Hell yeah! Wait, no, Clappy, come back. I need to high five you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you know, there's an achievement for that in this game. 
Man, I didn't expect him just to jump off. But yes, okay, so the bank that we were in over there, that is storage for your character. The stash is storage for your account. You know, like I said, here's the much talked about Rough Rider. Well, there someday. And then there's my Allegiance Relic that I got. So, those are things we have to look forward to. Uh, and now let's go meet another character. I'm starving! I want to eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Well then, that's always a fun time to come into, right? You need cat? Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerk bag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. I don't... Alright, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful. We don't want a coronary artery. Okay, I'm doing the same you. There you go. Close enough. <laughs> you gotta wait to do that. An iridium shard offer... How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff when she ain't acting all hoity-toity because she's got a real doctorate. No one. As I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also... I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. Well, if you're looking for work, I got stuff needs doing. Yeah, sure thing, Zed. After hours of... Uh, God as my witness. One day I will find a Man, let me screen. tell you. You want to interrupt my conversations? Thanks. Well, come on, that just leveled me up. Now, actually, real quick, we, we are going right over to this here, uh, what is this, new U station? No, quick change. And we are respecting this very much so. Alright. This hurts my brain! Me too, Krieg. Alright, let's just, bam, let's get that going. So now, we, we have all five points and feed the meat. Station. Yeah, I did claptrap. Okay, so from the bounty board, we have a ro mission from Roland. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. And Hamlock's made it to Sanctuary as well. Let's see what he's got for us. Bully mong. Rubbish name, isn't it? I like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Serve some bully bone pies, will you? I learned something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go ahead and just get the last cutscene out of the way. It's actually the quickest one. Uh, I mean, if you're playing co-op, especially when you go to talk to Scooter, a nice tactic is to uh, get this cutscene to trigger as you walk into Scooter's place so it just overwrites it and just you get a quick cutscene. Could I have a refund, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. And the body's gone already. I've got an offer. Hey, Vault Hunter. So I'll just I'm just gonna talk right over him here. Um, so he gets a mission here, and we get to learn about Elemental weapons. And uh, there are certain missions in the game that require you to use like cer a certain weapon or certain elements or something like that. I'm going to be just doing those missions anyways. I'm not going to like go so hardcore into this allegiance that like I just don't do some missions because I'm trying to show off all the missions I can, right? So let's just go ahead and get into it. Don't you think? I just so, spanking the like I said, one just talking over Marcus here. Pretty much how this 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 works is a man's all fleshy. 
He gets set on fire and takes fire damage. And then you can shoot uh, electricity, will lower shields quicker. And then armored units like robots or, you know, later on in, in different playthroughs, you'll kind of have more armored people. It works against that. And now here's the big one. So, slag, how it works is you slag an enemy and then you shoot them with a non-slag gun, and it does increase damage. Thank you, Marcus, <laughs> for shutting the hell up. Uh, slag is, you know, it's a pretty, very useful thing, overpowered, but it's not so much terribly overpowered in normal, in Trival Hunter, the second, like, New Game Plus, as it were. Um, but once you get to the third playthrough like I, th I think it's on like slags power is like triple that of what it originally is and I mean enemies just have a crap ton more health anyway so like it it's like actually a necessity to slag like everything you want to kill in ultimate vault hunter and now one thing I did not show off uh, in moxie's bar here is this is like the main reason you use money you get to go ahead and play the slots now, you know me, I'm, you know, about to make uh, reaction videos of me opening thing. Damn, oh yes, here we go. So yeah, that's like the main reason you really use this, uh, is to get quick iridium. And hopefully, you know, get, you know, you don't waste too much money. You know, get maybe a little bit back so you can just keep gambling. That way your entire life. Now, I mean, I'll take this. I will honestly take this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go buy more sniper rifle ammo just to keep it going. And the, there's like a mega jackpot, which is like the three vault symbols, which gives you a like guaranteed legendary gun. But it's, it's so incredibly rare that it's uh, it's on. It's like a pipe dream. Uh, this is my last one. I'm trying to get one particular thing to show, and I'm not going to get it. Ooh, what's this? Garbage. Oh, hey, Jacob's rifle. This is... My pistol's better than it. In every single way. And I'll keep that in case I need it for something. Alright, sniper I'm ammo. Um, so we got, I think, a quest from Zed to pick up. Uh, I'll, I'll get to the golden chest in there in a minute. I just want to make sure I get all the quests picked up. Like, I know this is kind of like a really boring-ass episode, to be honest, just because it's just me and Sanctuary doing things, but... We do it now, we don't gotta do it later. So, here we go. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapons causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. But don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also, unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs> Alright, so just real quick. We do have a few quests lined up. And how it's going to go is I I'm going to try to do like the best kind of planning I can as far as missions go just to kind of lower the amount of times back and forth we got to go uh, so pretty much how it's gonna go is we'll do this mission and then we're gonna go do this which then leads to another mission which we can complete while doing this so that's that and now here's the golden key chest um, just you know just in case you don't know golden keys were Something that Gearbox gave out, still they're still giving them out to this day. And, you know, they give out, like, shift codes. You can get, like, some uh, customization options from them. But mostly they're for these golden keys, which you can spend a golden key in this chest for a chance of loot. And it's usually, you know, it's it pretty much is going to, like, outrank anything you're going to normally get from... You know, normal play most of the time. Uh, and since I'm using the community patch, there's kind of a lot more E-Tech weapons that 
show up. So, I mean, really, you, you can you can sit here all day and just just do this if you really want. And I mean, there are ways to get more golden keys, which I mean, I'm definitely not above. But you know, this is kind of like one of those things where, like, if you're especially in a four-player game, if if no one's doing a certain allegiance run, it's kind of just like this, like, oh, well, I want this, oh, I, I wanted that. And we're full. So we're just going to go ahead and sell this stuff off. Uh, now, if I do farm for a golden key chest weapon, you money, just, you know, trying to, trying to get, like, an upgrade, I'm going to cut that out of the video. It uh, really serves no purpose. Uh, you know, like, uh, if anything, I'll, I'll make, like, a montage out of it, but... And, and by montage, I mean, you know... I'll at least show me getting it, so that way it's not kind of like, hey, where do you get that gun? So, that's pretty much how I feel about that. Now, with that being said, this is going to be the end of the episode. I just kind of wanted to showcase more sanctuary things. And by more, I mean just so showcase what sanctuary has to offer. My graphics card's making that... Damn, at least as soon as my graphics card, my computer is making that noise again that I was making in the last episode. I don't know. As much as I am kind of liking the OBS recording, I need to check out why that's doing that. I don't know. But until next time, I'm Trintia, and you guys have a good day.